Okay, we're back now in Lower Pathumaru, Layer 4. Remember the bloodletting beast? I want to give him another shot. So... Still hits like a freight train. Got it. I'm beginning to think that I'm not going to be dealing with him, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try a couple of times. Alright. Let's try this again. Now, if this doesn't work out too well after, like, one or two major attempts, then I'll probably end up having to find a way to open this thing up to a co-op run. That being said, my damage output on him seems to be where I feel it should be. He just, he just hits literal, like a literal truck. Luckily, his odd size works to my advantage. If I can just stay behind his legs or, you know, underneath of him, then I can actually get some pretty big damage in. Let's try with the big sword. There we go. Alright, I need to... There we go. Honestly, I probably should use the Hunter of Hunter runes. Now that I'm understanding a bit more how this fight's gonna operate. Yeah, no, no, no. This is gonna be easy. Well, not easy, but easier than, you know, Lawrence or Claus. So, let's just rip this guy asunder! There's a mistake. It wasn't a mistake, it stunned him! Well, didn't really stun him, more like it just stopped his advance. Yup! Power slash, power stab! Um... That was odd. He just started ble bleeding profusely. Well, he is the bloodletting beast. I guess he was letting the blood. Come on. What are you doing, big boy? Yeah, that's what I thought. You're jumpy. Let's get where he is. He can't reach me. Man, I shouldn't have given up on this guy so easily. Like, I don't remember exactly how much damage I was dealing when I fought him the first time. But, uh... I feel like I could have handled him if I had just tried a little harder. Yeah, that was way easier than I expected. Honestly, from my memory of it, I was expecting him to be worse than, um, what's his face? Lawrence. But the opposite was true. <laughs> and I still stand by. I feel like that if I had kept trying it, Lawrence, I could have done him. But again, I kind of got to the same point I did with Koss, where it was all just a matter of execution. I knew how I was going to do it. And I probably would have kept trying without calling for help if the trek there wasn't such a royal pain in the butt. Gammon away, go on. But very well, let me. At the same time, I think that I am, I'm ready for things to be final, finalized. Farewell, good. I thought I had enough echoes there. Well, I will in a minute, because I know I've got some cold bloods I haven't popped. Right. Right? I guess not. Okay. Well, before I get those echoes I need, one more thing I'm doing. You know, I never did see. Are there anything new in here? Oh, the Maria equipment. I would buy those, but I don't have enough insight. Because I can buy two bloodstone shots. Which means... I can now go over here, fortify weapon, where are you, amygdalin arm, 9, 10, ah, it feels good, so now, the amygdalin arm is ready to rock, so I'm gonna just fiddle with my blood gems a minute, I'm gonna take that off, I'm going to take all three of those off because I want to put them on the arm. Let's see. where. What, what, what's like the best things I can give this? I want it to have good physical attack as well as um, 
arcane attack. That's just counterproductive right there. Um, yeah, arcane attack boost. Wasn't there one I had that was like just attack up, period? I think that's one of the ones I had on the tentacle arm. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to get myself enough echoes to level up one time since I was like right there. <laughs> I figure I might as well. That's not bad. Um, ah, there we go. Attack up plus to team. That's what I wanted. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do that, and then it's going to be time. Time to potentially finish Bloodborne. I have no idea if there is going to be anything else that opens up after German, but everything else has reached what seems to be a conclusion. Once we beat Koss and destroyed that weird thing, well, we'll beat the Orphan of Koss and beat that weird thing that came out of what I'm assuming is Koss himself or herself, or itself, it said Nightmare Slain, so that's done. Killing Murgo's Wet Nurse is what unlocked German in the first place, and that also said Nightmare Slain, and I'm pretty sure that's also, again, an indicator of that's just, that's done now. Um, the Nightmare Frontier led to Amygdala, which led to another chalice, but it didn't say Nightmare Slain. So there might be more there, but I don't think there's anywhere else I could go that I haven't gone yet. So I'm still inclined to call that complete. The only other things that are left that I can think of besides German at this point is the chalices. On top of that, if this op game yeah, operates nice. like any other, like, you know, Souls-like From Software game, this definitely has a new game plus. And I haven't been prompted for anything like that yet. Farewell. So, I don't know. Again, everything about the way the fight with German presented itself to be is telling me that this is our grand finale. So, it's time. I'm not going to delay. I'm not going to set this up for anything else. I'm ready to just go in right now. Let's fight German. I don't know what to expect. German. Looks like he has a scythe of some kind for his weapon. I wonder if it's possible to get his gear. Woo! All right, he's very jumpy. Looks like he's not that durable. But he does hit pretty hard, as I would expect. Do a nice super slam. Ooh, that knocked him down and did a lot of damage. Let's see if I can do it again. Man, this is such a cool weapon. I love that I got it to plus 10 for this fight. We're both kind of using a scythe in a way, only his is a mundane metal blade. Mine is a living tentacle arm. That being said, he really knows how to use that blade. Oh, he just transformed it into two blades? Oh no, it's a sword and a gun. Okay, I get it. He was using like the, the gun as the hilt of the scythe or something. Yeah, he's definitely fighting like any other hunter does for the most part. Which implies that this is gear that we might be able to get. Okay. I'd probably be doing better if I was using Ludwig, but I really wanted to try the Amygdalan arm. I dig the somber music playing with this, too. It's a very... very atmospheric little duel we have going on here amidst the field of flowers. Which... Are these Lumen flowers? I just don't notice. They do look kind of similar to the ones we saw in the Lumen flower garden with the with the Celestial Emissary Mushroom King. Hey, what? One drink. He dodged. Alright, fine. You don't want a drink? How about... How about the eye? Okay, he, that's just not gonna work with him. He's, he's too dodgy. Okay, this is starting to become a problem. 
I need speed. I'm switching over. Stop it with the gun! It's always been my biggest problem in, like, hunter duels is when the other hunter has a blunderbuss and just stuns me with it. Doesn't even do all that much damage to me in this setup. All right. Getting in some good hits. German. Okay, German has just activated an aura of some kind, and I just got hit with a visceral attack. Okay, he's using um, teleports, so what? Is that like a super version of the Hunter's Bone? Ah, you're back in sight mode. I shall answer in turn. Okay, that didn't stun him at all. Oh boy, what are you doing, buddy? Ow. That was a big explosion. I'm running out of blood vials here, but he's getting pretty low. Uh-oh. I don't know what you're doing! Yeah, you're starting to get a few more unique attacks, buddy. I gotta say, I like them. Oh, get back to um, sword and gun. That's fine. Yep, got a good slice on you. And you got a good shot on me. Uh oh, no, no! I got this rolled again. That's bad. I need to heal. Oh! I'm down to six. I'm down to six vials. Oh, right, in this form, using the black sky ain't gonna work. Yeah, I think that, that aura basically gives him, like, super armor. Let me see if I can get a jumping slash on him. Five vials left. I gotta make this count. Uh-oh. Again! Oh, oh good. I heard the sound. I thought I was gonna get hit with a visceral. Okay, no, he's, he's dodging. He's teleporting way too fast. Man, you are the dodgiest boy I have ever seen. And somehow the Black Sky Eye just worked like three times in a row on you. You know what? Fine. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm going to shoot you with my eyeballs. Besides, I don't want to get too close and get another visceral attack on me. I will kill you with eyes. Prey. Slaughter. Old Hunter Badge, which implies there's going to be more stuff in the shop. So, is there more? Oh, there's more. Um... Hi. What are you, and why are you hugging me? shot into uh, yet another boss fight like right away this thing looks really cool moon presence oh boy yep in another boss fight and this thing is quick and I'm not prepared for this oh boy Why did you appear? Now of all times! Were you scared of German? Is that it? Oh, I will say though, you are, um... You are fast, but you are not very durable. Whew. Like... I think you are easier than Orphan of Cost so far. Also, I'm pretty sure what he just did there was a instant bring you to one health attack. So, I maybe I rescind my earlier statement about Cost. 
He's definitely less tanky, though. Like, incredibly so. Oh, I'm out of vials. Also, I think Black Sky Eye just did more damage than normal. You know what? She has the amygdalin arm. Do you just not like Arcane? Ooh. Ah, I thought I saw an opening for a Visceral. Oh, man. If I die, do I have to fight German again? I hope not. Well, I guess it's time to find out. Moon Presence. This is an interesting boss. Well, I guess I can also see if I've if I still got that old hunter badge. Um, I can see what's in the shop. Is there anything new in either store? Uh, let's take a look. See, I don't think there's room for anything new here. Nothing new there. Nothing new there. Cost parasite. Medical arm. Blood letter. Nope. I'm not seeing anything new in here. Or in here. Oh, but here's his armor. German's hunter garb and trousers and cap. Tire of German, the first hunter, created before the workshop existed by making adjustments to everyday clothing and later became the basis for all hunter garb. The hunter's emphasis on engaging with beasts and speed and therefore selecting lightweight attire no doubt traces back to German's own combat style. These look like pretty decent armors, but definitely not what I'd be going for. And I don't think I saw his weapons in there, because those are definitely new weapons. And anything new in here? Doesn't appear to be. I'm just gonna double check one more time on the weapons page. Like, am I sure there's nothing new? Oh, wait a minute! Burial Blade! There it is! Yeah, Trick Weapon of German! A masterpiece that defined the entire array of weapons crafted at the workshop, its blade is forged with ciderite, said to have fallen from the heavens. German surely saw the hunt as a dirge of farewell, wishing only that his prey mate rest in peace, never to awaken another harrowing nightmare. Alright, I know we got a boss waiting for us there, but I want to buy that weapon just so we can show it off real quick. It looks cool. All right. Burial Blade. How do you operate? Get a big old curved sword. Okay. Very wide arc. Dang. This is probably my favorite one-handed sword so far, just because of... It's very fast, has a lot of wide sweeping attacks, and it's very, very long. Like, if I had gotten this earlier, this probably would have been, like, my weapon of choice. And then in scythe form... Attacks kind of similarly to Ludwig. That's its R2, so... A bit of a shorter range than Ludwig on that. And it's its L2, which is the same as Ludwig. Oh, and jump, please. So yeah, aside from its R2 and transform state, it's basically the same as Ludwig's blade. So it's basically a better Ludwig in that case. And it has innate arcane attack. Yeah, no, I think that probably would have been, like, one of my absolute go-to weapons if we weren't already at the end, basically. Though, who knows, if there if something else opens up after this, which I, I don't think is going to be the case, then I might uh, invest in that later. We will see. Either way, I'm going to just buy more blood vials, just in case. Just in case, because I was getting a little bit low on my overall count. Let's go and see if the uh, moon presence is still present. Moon presence. Okay, good. Now we get to fight moon presence with full supplies. Whoa. Oh, hey, wait a minute. 
I just now noticed the, the song playing right now. That's the same song I've been using for the end cards. Huh. I did not think that was a boss theme I was using this whole time. I thought it was something for like a cutscene or like a somber area or something. Huh. That's kind of funny. Okay. All right, I need you to just give me like two seconds. There we go. Ugh, geez. You know, I have similar issues to hitting you that I did with like the beasts I fought earlier, the bloodletting beast with Lawrence. Only you don't have the advantage of being so gigundous that I can just stand underneath you and attack you safely. Plus, you've got those tentacle tails, and while they're really awesome, they're also very problematic. So I'm gonna just throw this at you. Yeah, that's an instant bring you to one health move. I don't like you. So, enjoy. What are you doing? What's with the lights? What's with the orbs? Ooh. Visceral! Strike! That did some damage. And it's not his little light show. Whatever that meant. You know what? I haven't used this in a while. And he's now praying the moon. Have some tinnitus. Oh, he doesn't care about tonight. Tonight, tonight, just. Oh. Didn't realize that's what I had on there. Ah, you're doing that again. Okay. Okay. Um, here. Have have my last bullet in the black sky eye. You can do your little praise to the moon there. I'm just gonna smack you. I hope you don't mind. Amygdalena! Oh, you just made it rain blood. Okay. Well, one more good strike and you are basically dead. Wait, I can't heal. Why can't I heal? Why can't I heal? You know what? I'm just gonna go for the kill then. Moon presence slain! Nightmare slain! 230,000 blood echoes for that guy. Alright. Is that it? Oh, there's the doll. Are you cold? Is that part of the moon presence? <laughs> oh, good hunter. Wait. You called it good hunter. Was that us? Did we turn into that? Well, we got the credits, so that's game. I think we turned into that parasite slug thing there. I don't know why. I don't know what killing the moon presence had to do with that. I don't even know what the moon presence was. It just popped up after we killed German. Oh my lord. This was a game. This was certainly a game. And as expected, a lot of interesting, uh, story intertwined with the immeasurably hard boss fights and just other challenges in general that leaves way more questions than i would have thought by the end a couple of good examples that ending what was up with the doll hugging the squid parasite tentacle thing and calling it good hunter was that us was that part of the moon presence? What was the moon presence? Why did it show up after I killed German? Where does Koss fit into all this? Why was Koss allegedly dead on the beach? Why did dead Koss birth out his own orphan that wanted to kill us? Why did Koss give eyes to Rom the spider and then lead to the nightmare of Mensis, ritual of Mensis that led to the beasts? 
It's like, you can see when, I, when I'm going with this. There's so many threads that all just kind of intertwine together. But it's like, there's a piece that's not connecting. Like, cost is something we've seen a couple of points. And that basically reached its end in The Hunter's Nightmare. It didn't connect to anything else. It didn't connect to... Well, it did connect to why there's beasts going. You know, the beasts being part of the ritual of Mensis. And, of course, Mikolash was involved with that, and he was praying to Koss. So that's where that ties in. The Hunter's Dream and German. I don't fully understand how they tie into things. Much less the Moon Presence just kind of coming out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, so it, it feels like that there's just, like, something I'm not getting there. Also, what was up with the umbilical cord thing we did a while back? Where it, it, I think we had a note that said to consume three or something like that, and we did that? Did that? I, I'm wondering what that did. I'm gonna guess that we encountered whatever it is that it did, and it just wasn't exactly clear that that's what it did. That, and there's another thing, that weird lady in white, we saw her twice, once in the Nightmare of Mensis, and once in the Moonside Lake after killing Rom, and that was before the moon turned red. Plus, when we were at the end with German, he said something, what, what did he say? How he could take our life to end the nightmare forever or something like that, or to end the hunt? And when we said no, that's what led to the boss fight. Because I wasn't ready to end things. So, if we had said yes to him, would the game have ended right there? Would we still have had to fight the Moon Presence? I guess that's what an ex another playthrough is for, but <laughs> that's going to be a while away. For me, at least. Oh, my lord. Uh, I will say... For all the confusion and frustration, this was a good one. This game was great. Like, I think funny enough, I, like, I just gotta go down, uh, like, thinking of all the bosses in this game. Like, because that's always the highlight of these games, isn't it? It's the bosses. I think my favorite one is probably the Orphan of Koss. And that's me saying this just a couple of days after he gave me the longest, hardest four hours of frustration I've had in a game in a long time. He's certainly memorable, I'll say that. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. I... Okay, these games are very hard. Any Anything made by From Software is destined to be stupid hard. But, I always found when it came to Dark Souls 1 and 2, the only other ones from them I've played... Nine times out of the ten, the difficulty didn't feel fair. Like, how can I put this? It didn't just feel like you were intended to grind for things. It, it felt like it was inconsistent. I, I mentioned before when I was fighting Koss, when I got started getting frustrated and the whole visceral attack thing stopped, stopped working. Inconsistency is the worst form of difficulty to me. Like... They say that to do the same thing over and expect different results is the definition of insanity. Well, I feel like I'm going crazy when I do the exact same thing and do get different results. And it, it drives me nuts. The only thing that is worse to me than inconsistency in difficulty is basically a feeling of utter helplessness. Where it's like, no matter what option I take, there's nothing I can do. And I felt, I felt that happen a couple of times in Dark Souls 1 and a lot in 2. But in this one... I really didn't have any of the inconsistency problems except, like, a handful of times. And it never felt, like, absolutely helpless. Not to my recollection right this minute, anyway. The point is, I think this is one of the better balanced Souls games out there. And I really liked the story, <laughs> even if there wasn't much to connect the threads. So, uh... I don't think I'm going to be doing another game quite like this one for a good long time. But if I ever, if I had to pick just one to do, I'm glad it was this one. And I'm glad I did it blind. 
it certainly made for an interesting experience. Anyways, I think I need a palate cleanser. All signed and oh. sealed. Nah, oh, is this the let's opening? Begin the transfusion. Oh, Wait. don't you worry. Did we ever figure out who this guy is? Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. I don't think we ever found out who this guy is. I don't think this is German. <laughs> is it German? <laughs> it might be German. I, I can't tell. It might be German. I completely forgot about him. I guess it's just taking me straight into New Game Plus here. Oh, man. Anyways, yeah. I need a bit of a break. And next time is definitely going to be something a bit more, shall we say, lighthearted and more familiar to me. Thank you so much for watching, and apologies if any of the frustration, especially in the last couple of parts, has been a bit much. But sometimes that's just how it goes, you know? I'm done rambling. Goodbye.